I go back in and I have no idea what she likes, but I look around the room and I find this one book in, on the uh, table. And it's a book of poetry. And so I open it up and I start reading. Shortly after, a nurse comes in and says, oh, that was left by the patient in here before. <laughs> okay. Um, so the thing is, when you're sitting there with someone who is seems to be in a great deal of pain, and they've moved her into a single room because they don't want her keeping all of the other patients awake through the night, they've isolated her. Mm -hmm. So my instinct is, I don't know what I can do to help her, and I don't need the stress of sitting there and just listening to this woman moan. Mm -hmm. What can I possibly do? So no clues. All I can do is go inside, and because I really believe we're all one, I said, if I were in that bed, what would I want at this time? I knew what I'd want. So I broke a few rules. I got right up on the bed with her, sat facing her, took both of her hands in my hands, and I said, Marie, go alone. I'm going to be here with you for as long as you need me. Uh, and this, she's still moaning a little bit, and after a few minutes, I have to adjust myself, you know. And as soon as I start to adjust myself, she reaches for my hand. Oh, no. Okay. So I'm holding her hands, and about an hour into it, an hour and a half, the moaning stops. Oh. And she kind of, after a few more minutes, there's a, a smile that comes to her face. And then after a little longer, she winks at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just held her hands, she eventually fell asleep, mm -hmm. was at peace. 